So for our 2018 internship, we chose Sam Machin of Falmouth University, who's studying business entrepreneurship. We thought Sam would work well in both a lodge and community environment. So working with Gafunta Safaris in Zambia, we sent Sam out to South Luangwa for three months. This is his story. So I study business entrepreneurship at Falmouth University and one of my modules next year is to add value to a business. This is a real life business in a real life scenario. So um, at Kofunta I'm, I'm going to be dealing with their search engine optimization. So I'll be going in um, and trying to boost their ratings throughout Google. So they want to target the walking safaris. So I'm going to try and boost their ranking for that. So they get more traffic through to the website and uh, yeah, improve their uh, sales in that sort of regard. Fun Safaris, it's, so it's an um, Australian and a German uh, married couple. Uh, they've been working in Zambia for over 25 years. They used to work at a camp called Wildlife Camp, but then decided to set up on their own uh, with Fun Safaris. They're great people and you can tell they just have such a passion for wildlife and they've been around the area for so long. You know, so many lodge owners and they're just great people, easy to get on with. You can just tell how much they love their, their, their home. Um, my favourite wildlife encounter came uh, in my last week on my last safari. So it was, um, we were looking at uh, seven lionesses, two male lions and a lion cub. They'd um, just killed a male giraffe, so quite a large male giraffe. And uh, we were driving along and the male lion was sat in the middle of the road and there was a small dip which we had to go through to then get over to the other side of the car on the safari. And as we were driving through the dip, the side of the car trial was on. Like left towards the line, and I was probably only two or three feet away from this big male line that was staring me right in the eyes. And I think it was the scariest experience I've had, but it was one to remember for sure. What's new? Um, so, fairly new is the Three Rivers Camp, which they've um, had open for two years now. They're really starting to get into that uh, rhythm with it, and you can tell the camp's really developed. It's a beautiful place to go. They've also had a couple of changes with staff as well. They've got a new lodge manager and a new maintenance manager who's uh, coming in in November. Um, and yeah, so the staff's changing a bit. And you can also see the slow progression when I was there from when I started to when I finished and how it's developed with the new lodge manager which is coming. My personal highlight was getting to know these staff members uh, around the lodge because I mean there's 30 or 40 of them who uh, work various shifts throughout the uh, week and they, there's also so many departments within the lodge itself. It was great to hear their personal stories and get to know them on a personal level rather than one which I guess we'll probably see. Um, I got to hear so many brilliant and that, um, anecdotes of their time with the wildlife and what they do in the village on a day-to-day -day basis. And I also got to go and play football with them as well, which was an incredible experience. Um, I've made some really good friends out there, and that's yeah, one of my personal friends, I'd say. Funter is just an amazing place. It's, it's warm for memory books. You look out from the main lodge over a beautiful plain, which has various wildlife grazing and drinking from the watering holes at the front. You get wildlife through camp as well, which is incredible, seeing the elephants so close. And just, yeah. It also, it has amazing staff, which are so welcoming and always happy to talk to the guests. And it's just a beautiful place to go.